going home. Looks like a dragster. That sounds good. Oh, he appreciates it. Oh, you! <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everybody. We're going exploring. Whoa! In my underwear, ma'am. <laughs> the Grand Canyon. Be careful. Look, right there. If I fall, we all go. I did something wrong. All the boy. Train robbers out here. He's shooting at us. Get those hands up, guys. We just got robbed. <laughs> Watch Jeopardy. Egypt or something. You first talk. <laughs> About to buy something. Look at this. Look at that. Squeezy break. Starting up and dying. Utah. Impeccable. George! Oh, there's a cave. Yeah, that's cool. John Wayne. You first walk. 1876. <laughs> there's Buffalo. That's so cool. Selfie. That's not a good sign. Look at that. Look at Yeah, no railing. Sheer bluffs. Wow. Daddy fell off the cliff. Beautiful. Abandoned ghost town. Well, that's incredible. Test side up there. What? We're in a volcano right now. These is bulls. What's the deal? Yeah. Dangerous cliff. Wow. What's that guy doing? Oh wow. What a cool trail. I would die. Oh my gosh. It's Servant's heart. The picture show theater. For sale. Wow. Woo. The shake and bake out here. And Take a bath. Welcome back to the Sleeper Dude YouTube channel. We are back with our road trip adventure. 7,000 miles around the Western United States in a $2,700 car that's 31 years old. Can we make it? Let's hope so. But we're copying the trip that my great grandparents did in 1976. They took a 72 Oldsmobile station wagon on their trip. We bought a 92 Olds because that's all we could afford. And we we're going to try to go and see some of the same exact stuff they did. We've even got their old photo albums. We're matching up photos. We're driving the same car on the same trip. We're the same age they were when they did it. So some of the things we're going to do on this trip is take a train ride to the Grand Canyon, get robbed by cowboys, go see Horseshoe Bend, Go check out a cave that John Wayne and Ronald Reagan used to hang out in. See some buffalo. Go into Zion National Park. We check out a legit ghost town and try to make it all the way to Bryce Canyon. Let's get to it. Good morning. We're going to get something to eat, get some snacks at the DG, and get on a train to the Grand Canyon. Let's do this. We thought about eating here. They have like a buffet here at the hotel, but looked into it, it's like $20 a person for breakfast, and I'm like, that's a little expensive for my taste. So we're gonna try to find something else to eat around town. So it's a train ride to the canyon and back, but it, it lasts all day, basically. You leave at 9.30, you get back at 5.30, and unless you wanna buy their expensive food, you gotta bring your own stuff. So we're gonna bring some of our own drinks and snacks and stuff with us. It's gonna be a big day. It's the 4th of July, and we're going to the Grand Canyon. What could be more American than that? So we're super excited about it. It's a two and a half hour ride out there, Three hours at the canyon, two and a half hours back. I think they're really gonna like the train ride. That seems natural. <laughs> Branded. We're driving around town now. Look at that train, guys. I don't know if that's the one we're taking or what. That's where we gotta load up at. They have a gunfight show at nine, so we're gonna go try to watch that. And then we gotta load up on the train and leave by 9.30. Well, that's a little cool little gas. Oh, it's a museum now. Mm. Well, I like that Mall Lake Pico. What is that? Guided tours. They had that car down the street last night, so it must yeah, run and drive. Yeah. They got old cars everywhere down through here. I guess that's just a Route 66 thing to do, isn't it? It is. But more importantly than all that cool town and history is we got to see the Dollar Central. Going home. It's a big one. Yeah, they won't bother you if you don't bother them. Huh. Right. She warned us about snakes at the Grand Canyon. We got some stuff for the rest of the trip as well. Might as well get it while you're here. We've been out here packing up for like 10 minutes and compressor's still run. I haven't unplugged it yet because it hasn't killed our battery, but I don't know when the darn thing shuts off. Oh, this is cool. I've never seen a train like that. It's like at an angle, I guess, to go up Pikes Peak. It must have been part of the Pikes Peak Railroad. Isn't that funny how it's like angled like that? Looks like a dragster. Cowboy Show Rock, Grand Canyon left. Well, we're going Cowboy Show first. Guys, this is something I really missed while we were on our trip, was our weekly factor box. It's me and Wawa's favorite time when the factor box comes in. So factor ships this to you in a super insulated box, ice packs in it, fresh, never frozen meals, 
All you have to do is heat them up for two minutes and they are ready to eat. They even have awesome stuff like smoothies. I absolutely love them. And for people with a busy lifestyle like us, it saves you trips to the grocery store, prepping, chopping, cleaning dishes, all that stuff. But you still get the flavor and nutritional quality you need. They have over 34 dietitian approved flavor packed meals. They even have options like Calorie Smart where the meals have around 550 calories or less. And they have Protein Plus meals that have over 30 grams of protein or more. And they have over 45 add-ons like breakfast food. They have apple cinnamon pancakes, bacon cheddar egg bites, juices, shakes, and smoothies. I think I'm gonna go with garlic herb chicken breast this time. Should be ready to eat in two minutes. I mean, shoot, I can't even rebuild a carburetor that fast. Time to eat. This ain't no chicken nugget here, okay guys? Look at that, that's quality right there. For somebody like us that works from home and lives in the middle of the country where there isn't any restaurants anywhere near us, it's a really great option. Saves you money on eating out or getting food delivered. And your order size is completely flexible. You can add some to it, take away, or you can even skip a week if you're gonna be out of town. I'm telling you, it is really good. Scooter's down here just in case I drop any piece at all. <laughs> I'm not dropping this, guys. You're not getting any of it. And you've seen us talk about HelloFresh before. Well, Factor is owned by HelloFresh. So if you're the type of person that likes to prep your own meals, then you can go with HelloFresh. If you like the meal already prepped for you, you can go with Factor or go back and forth, whatever you want to do. They have something for everybody. So head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code SLEEPERDUDE50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. That's factor75.com and use code SLEEPERDUDE50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. Big thank you to Factor for helping support our channel. Now go support them and let's get back to our video and this meal. Dad, what are you cooking? Is that Factor? I've been caught. Train depots are just cool. That sounds good. We got cowboys here. Morning. Ralphie has always loved his trains. Yeah, they're cool. Oh, I think I see a cowboy town from here. Legit cowboy town. Yeah. So he's getting the pet the horse. <laughs> Rick, hey, this horse is awesome. There he is, y'all. Oh, he appreciates that. Oh, sweet. <laughs> I bet they're better with the lasso than we were. Oh, oh man, look at him go. Fight him, Duke, fight him. He's much better than you are. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's about to start, and this place is filled up now. You ready for a gun show? Howdy! Howdy! Good for y'all were asleep! Do y'all know that six out of seven dwarfs are not happy? <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Put that down. You ever play cowboy poker before? No, no. Take that bag. We want some collateral. Take your purse. Take your purse. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We got the flying away. God, that's hilarious. You go. <laughs> Last man standing. This is the winner. We got a full house! Over his shoulder the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> and what do we do with a car in Arizona? Shoot. 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 
<laughs> the shark got him, didn't it? What, you stand out? Oh, right. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of people getting on a train. How cool the train is, huh? Very neat. First class has the glass roof, but we're in that class of them people that died in the Titanic down here. Have you guys rode on a train before? Yeah. One time with Mimi, right? Yeah. Oh, this is cool. This is going to be fun, isn't it? Yeah. I can't wait. Still take trains like across the country. Yeah, oh, look, here's the horses. Yeah, I know y'all. <laughs> they think it's hilarious. I got picked. <laughs> uh, and my purse, my flip flops, and my purse. Yeah, oh, look at all the old trains over here. The cars moving. Oh, we got prairie dog action. We haven't seen any prairie dogs yet. We're seeing prairie dogs. Those are your favorite, aren't they? Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Elk, deer, mule deer. That must be where they work on the trains over there. Excitement level, one to 10. Oh, I'm very excited. Seven, okay. It's hard to please her. I'm just gonna cry. She's just crazy. Are you gonna cry, Mom? I could just cry thinking about it. You know how I am. Yeah, they gave us a newspaper. So he said this railroad was built by the Santa Fe Railroad Company in the early, early 1900s. And it was used till the 1960s. It's been used ever since 89 to travel towards the Grand Canyon. It says in 1968, the last train that went out to the Grand Canyon only had three passengers on it. Oh. The average depth of the Grand Canyon is a mile deep, and its average is 10 miles wide, but the maximum is 18 miles wide. I love these old telephone poles. They still have the insulators on them. I wonder how long it's been since they used these. We're going exploring. We want to walk between the train cars. Oh, this is cool. Oh, wow. Thank you. Ralphie's amazing to see that. <laughs> he taught me an ice cream for everybody. It wasn't too bad, though. They weren't that expensive here. This is so cool way to travel. Whoa! You got this. Moon cows. Oh, they're crossing. Cows. We got back just in time. I wonder why the train's stopping. Did they hit a cow? No. I don't know how he holds all that in there. I don't know where he puts it. That's a big ice cream sandwich. <laughs> oh, we got the sheriff here. He really got me out of that sticky situation, didn't he? Man, we're out here in the desert now. Good morning. Morning. Of course, my name is Clyde. I'm here to make just a little bit of music for you. Yeah. Yeah. 
Who's ready to see well, the Grand Canyon? What's going on in there? <laughs> you want to see it? It's coming up. Right there to your left. The Grand Canyon is awaiting. It is very hot here, for sure. A lot hotter than it was where we left this morning. I saw there was a heat advisory for like where we just came from in here. It's funny, it followed us. Okay, it's up that way. Can't believe we're actually at the Grand Canyon. I know. That's crazy. It's unbelievable, isn't it? It goes instant rocky every time we get on a set of stairs. I was starting to see it. Wow, that is crazy. Oh my gosh, it's huge. It doesn't even look real. It looks like a painting. Look at that. Can you believe it? Oh my gosh. How many people do you think fall off this one? Wow. And there it is. The Grand Canyon. Wow. <laughs> so big. That's ridiculous, isn't it? It is. My eyes can't like... Can't comprehend the distance, huh? Yeah, Wow. What? She's Are you crying, Mom? Mom's crying. <laughs> uh, look at that. Hug it out, guys. <laughs> Why are you crying? <laughs> wow. Well, I'm glad we made it here, guys. That is unbelievably big. Just imagine if you were in your horse and wagon and you pulled up to the edge of this and thought, oh, now where'd I go? <laughs> Ralphie says the most dangerous thing to do here is a selfie. Yes, that's true. That's how most people... That's how they do. end up over the side. It looks like there's houses down there. You can't really explain how big it is. What's that trail? You get a view around here of some other spots on this. What do you think it would look like? I don't know. Don't look like you thought? I thought it would be smaller and less light. I know, right? It looks like, it literally looks like somebody just painted. It doesn't look like it's... I can see it's so wide, it's like hazy. If you look all the way across there, it's hazy at the other side. It's so far away from here. If you just look closely, it looks like they just have a big piece of cardboard on the sides. You and think it's, it's fake? Maybe it's fake. Maybe they just painted that. Probably is. It's probably fake. We're just looking at the painting. I can just sit here and like pick out all the little details for like five hours. Well, you got three, so you gotta do a little faster than that. <laughs> look, Ralphie's holding on to the wall over there. <laughs> He's nervous. I'm so nervous. He's so nervous. You're the one that's usually nervous. It's kind of gets you weak in the knees, doesn't it? Well, yeah. Well, if you fall, you're depth in the neck up. Yeah. Gotta match up some of the photos that my grandparents took here. Just keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. Where's the? Oh, look at that huge Colorado River. <laughs> Can't even see the Colorado River from here. This Ralphie approved. Yes. And some of these spots you can just walk out on the edge if you want to. We got a leash on squeeze. Where's the wall? You don't need a wall. We got a brain. 
too bad Skeeter's not here. He would have loved this. Skeeter, he'd be an Ashton and Prairie dog. Yeah. Be careful. Well, they... That's good. <laughs> Please stop. It's close enough for me. <laughs> you got your map out? I don't care out where we're at here. <laughs> the Grand Canyon. <laughs> and guys, I'm really glad we got to come here. Oh, yeah. On the you know? July. Not everybody gets to come to the Grand Canyon. Yeah, 4th of July, Grand Canyon. Can't get no better. Let's go in the visitor center. Maybe there's some buttons in there, squeeze. Oh, wow. Plaques. My favorite. Oh, my gosh, Tosh. You see that picture? Look at that dude. I bet them brakes is real good. Yeah, don't worry. He set the parking brake. That must be the old painting they took down, huh? And they replaced it. We were looking for Squeeze, and she's over here talking to the front desk clerk about something. I don't know what she's negotiating. She will talk to anyone. <laughs> Literally anyone she will talk to. You ask her something, you want her to answer, then, yeah, she's, then she will. Mom's the word, you know. What'd you get, Squeeze? Yeah. Oh, Junior Ranger book. You like the books you gotta fill out. You think it's gonna be big, and then you see it, and it's like, it's so much bigger than you thought it was gonna be. Yeah. It seems like you could never ever put a bridge across it, you know, it's so yeah. big. So this is the Hoppy House. Oh yeah, I got a duck in here. This way, on the side. Oh, wow. It's all Native American stuff they sell here. Wow, it's like an observatory over there. I'm gonna go over there. Looks like a pretty cool overlook. Wow. So this lookout was built in 1914. Oh yeah, that's great. Let's go stand in it. Yeah. Wow, this is a great spot. Oh wow. Stay away from the windows. <laughs> Oh my gosh. This needs to be like a our house right here. Huh? No, it doesn't. <laughs> you see anything, bud? I see it. What do you see? I see the house room and stuff. I want to see. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Get ready. I'll be soon. Are y'all staying up here? Do you not? Walk down there. Yeah. No. Ralph, you sit your butt down. No, I'll hold on to the railing and stuff. Hard. Nothing sketchy about this. No. Just crap. <laughs> Just some old rusty pops. Here'll be fun. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, it's a gunslinger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that a pipe going down? Yeah, it looks like it's water maybe or something going down there. So over there is where we first were. Look, right there. A goat? Here, let me, let me. I think I saw it around there. Yeah. Is it a goat? It's moving. See his tail sticking up? I don't. So around about there? Yeah. Oh, I see him now. Yeah. I see what you're talking about. He's yeah. moving. He's kind of right out of the shadow. He's right over there. I think you can see him. There's an antelope down there. You can see one, yeah, from here. You should come down there, honey. Come on. I'm good. I'm good. Hey, if you keep looking, you might see it. <laughs> this is Comb Studio. There are photographers based out of the Grand Canyon. So this is some of the stuff they used to have to do in order to get pictures in the Grand Canyon here. Yeah. That's a Look, I'd be scared to death out there. Man, look at what they would go through to get to spots to take pictures. I bet it is cool to go down the Colorado River here. This is people watching a video in here in 1926. So the Coen brothers made a movie about the Grand Canyon in 1911. Doing what we're doing, but 110 years ago. Squeezy's already checked out again. Oh wow, this is their original projector here. That's how they project it into that room. So I guess you had to come here to see it back then. That was the only place you could probably see it. Oh, wow. We need to go down there. That's it. through the rock. We need to walk these. Picnic time first. That's a meal, right? <laughs> so the two babies are staying back. These babies are going with me. We're going on the, what's it called? Bright Angel Trailhead? Ralph has got to hold on to me because the wind may blow him away. Mom didn't want us to go at all, right? <laughs> She's very worried about us. What a beautiful view. 
I at least want to get down to where those holes are in the rocks. That's like as far as I'm going. These people turned around. <laughs> you can go back if you want. I'm not regretting us. Okay, never mind. Come on, Lynn. <laughs> Y'all are such babies. I have donkey I'm rides down through I'd here. I'd be so scared. What if it just decide to jump? It's blowing in my face. The whole day's hands, so if I fall, we all go. No, no if, I'm, if I'm you rabbit. fall, I'm letting you go. I would prefer I'm rabbit. Sorry. Look at all the rocks in their eyes. Ugh. When mules pass, stand on the inside of the trail. I ain't riding a mule down here. Oh my gosh, it's windy. The holes in the rock ahead is really neat. For sure they dug that out to go through here. Man, I wouldn't go down there on that ledge. And they really uh, trust you to have good judgment here, don't they? Yeah. I wouldn't get up there for nothing. Let's go find your mama before she strokes out. Cool trail though. Good thing I got my hiking boots on today or I wouldn't be able to do a feat such as this. We survived it, guys. Mom's gonna be so happy. You would have loved that hike. Oh, yeah. You made it all the way down to the big hole in the rock. Trying to get out of the heat for a minute. I did something wrong. That cool you off squeeze? They talked me into it. Didn't take much, did it? No. Squeeze is FaceTiming one of our friends from school to show him the Grand Canyon. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to get this pick from the guy. <laughs> well, I guess it's time to say goodbye to the Grand Canyon. The train's about to leave. It's a good amount of time, though. Three hours is about right if you want to really soak it in. Whee! Well, that was awesome. Yeah. Definitely recommend coming to the Grand Canyon if you haven't. It says this train depot was built in like 1910. They started bringing people to the Grand Canyon in the early 1900s by train. I guess this is what our train engine looks like here. We haven't seen it yet. Old train depot. Pretty cool. Looks like we're gonna be in the very front car this time. Right behind the engine. All aboard. <laughs> Different car this time. Was it everything you thought it was gonna be? And more. Was more? I agree. It was awesome. At least we get to stay in this hotel tonight, huh? We don't have to pack up immediately and leave. Oh my gosh. Look, he's got water and sweetener. <laughs> Cause we ain't buying nothing else to drink. You think he's never seen a There's so much cooler on the train. Oh, the sleeping giant. giant. It looks like a face like laying on his back it's over there. The, mountains out there. the robbers have got out of jail. They have been spotted in this area. Is this the whole real thing? Uh, it sounds legit to me. If you see any guys on horses, you be sure and tell me, okay? You be watching. As long as the train's moving, we're fine. Through the magic of editing, here I am in a top secret location, Sleeper Dude Merchandise World Headquarters, also known as our house. As you know, we've changed it up. We're doing it on our own now. Big thank you to everybody that ordered last time. We sold out overnight of all of our shirts. Now we've got some new shipments in for you guys that didn't get in on the last order. We got some That's Unfortunate shirts in, and we've also got the Whiskey Dent shirts in. We have a couple of the Casing Killer shirts and a couple of the small sizes on the Sleeper Dude Wagon shirt like this, but we've sold out of everything else overnight. We also have one new item for sale on our website now. We got these awesome five inch by two inch Sleeper Dude stickers. We got the traditional Fairmont wagon, of course. I mean, what else would you put on the sticker? We've got a few of them. We're gonna be trying to sell. We've made a bigger order on them now that we know that they're good. We wanted to make sure they were good before we ordered a bunch of them. And we have ordered in more Sleeper Dude shirts. We've ordered in some more Casing Killer and the Merca Triple Sleeper Dude shirt but they're not in yet. So if you go to the website today, you should be able to get you some Whiskey Dent shirts and some That's Unfortunate shirts. And you should be able to get you some Sleeper Dude stickers. These are $4.99 with free shipping while they last. So we appreciate all your support with our new merchandise endeavor here. Mom and Wawa have been working like crazy out here. The first few hundred orders are gonna get something special in their order. 
If you got in early last time, you know what it is. For those of you that know how to type, it's at thesleeperdude.com. For everybody else, link in the description below. Thank you for all the support. We'll let you know when we get some more merchandise in. Now back to the video. There's train robbers out here. Oh no. The train's slowing down. What? Train's slowing down, squeeze. Oh, there's another one. He's shooting at us. Oh no, the train is coming to stop. That means they figured out a way to stop the train. Okay, so, uh -oh. everybody. Okay, so. Hands up. Oh no, here it is. Oh no. Oh, they're robbing us. The train's moving again. But we got robbers. Oh, they're robbing us. Yes. Very good. Get those hands up, Gus. I see you are not doing it. <laughs> we just got robbed. Can you believe this, please? Can you believe you've been involved in a train robbery? No. Here comes the sheriff. Look at that. Guess what? The robber. How far are they going to go? I'm not gonna kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they got a dodge motor on too. Well, that was awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you found a blank. That's pretty cool. We're gonna drive around town and find us something to eat before all these other people do. What do we have here? Dancing bear. Grateful Dead. They have a shooting gallery and gem mining. We're thinking we might eat here at the Frontier Place. They recommended it to us. Oh, yeah, live music and everything here. Look at that. How about Jeff? Ralphie wanted to see the shooting gallery over here. You can do mining and everything, huh? That is awful. <laughs> you did that to me. I forgot that they didn't have sweet tea. And then once I did it, I was like, I gotta wait. <laughs> Sharp Peter Ralphie here. Oh, whoa! Sprayed us. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna spray again. <laughs> Squeeze his turn. Oh. Oh, it sprayed me. Let's see if you can get the highest score here. I didn't even see what your score was. I have to look back and see. You gotta be quicker. Three thousand three hundred eighty-nine. I wonder what mine was. We reviewed the footage. I think Ralphie got eighteen hundred points. Man, it looks good, don't it? Yeah, all kinds of stuff out here to do if you want to do different games or whatever while you're waiting. It's a pretty cool place. Look at our mac and cheese with buffalo chicken in it. So good. Ralphie just had to show me up on here. Good job, sir. Squeezy has decided she wants to do gym mining over here. Yep. Can you hold this? I'll hold it. This is what we're looking for. There you go. You get in the water and shake it back and forth. Ooh, yeah. 
Oh, a lot of dogs, please. You hit pay dirt, didn't you? Look at this. That'd be cool. She's more excited about this than the Grand Canyon. I think it might be cool. Or selling tea. <laughs> you get a bunch. Sit mm -hmm. on father. Come on. By the time we get here, I'll be long gone. Look at that right there. I like the station wagon. Well, we got our Grand Canyon sticker today to put on here. We have ran out of room on the bottom row. Oh, that's so much straighter than mom. So much straighter. We gotta go get some stuff together to leave in the morning. We got some laundry to do. I got some editing to do, and we're gonna get on the road in the morning. We're gonna head towards Utah. At least we made it back in time to watch Jeopardy. Woo! We are trying to sort out the route for tomorrow, but we know we wanna go towards Horseshoe Bend and go on into Utah. I gotta spend the next hour or so looking through the map and figure out exactly what our route's gonna be. Most of what we wanna see in Utah is down south. Once we see what we wanna see in southern Utah, we're gonna start heading towards Yellowstone. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. We're all like a bunch of pack mules in a row here. Whose turn was it to leave something in the room? <laughs> I hope we didn't. So we're gonna be leaving, going back towards Flagstaff just a little bit and then starting to head north towards Utah. We're also gonna to try to make it over to Zion National Park and depending on how long that takes, we may even make it towards Bryce Canyon. So here we go. Well, we got some McDonald's because that's like the only restaurant in town we can find is fast food. And I'm gonna see if I can find another Atlas to lose in a motel room. No luck, Squeezy, they don't have Atlas. What is the deal? He's become a doctor of this. He's taking it to the next level. It was kind of funny that lady over there stopped us and asked how we attached this to the top. It was looking at her zip ties. I'm like, oh, it's just held on with zip ties. <laughs> at least we taught somebody something this morning, right? Exactly. We're just helping out the whole US of A. Exactly. I don't know what to think about our country when you can't buy an atlas at a truck stop. What's this one coming to? There should be an atlas at every truck stop, gas station, everything that you would stop at traveling, there should be a road atlas. I may have lost the last atlas known to man. I don't know. What's this temple looking thing again? I don't know what that is. Looks like it. That kind of looks like the pictures they took out the window of Flagstaff. I almost missed the DG. Oh, that'd be a catastrophe. <laughs> There's snow on those mountains. Oh, wow, there is in there. And it's like 90 degrees down here probably today. That's crazy. The elevation so much different. Once again, different looking mountains than what we've seen. These over here have trees on them. Those over there look like Egypt or something. <laughs> look, here's another roadside attraction going. <laughs> she got her sail set over here at over 80 miles an hour. It's like everything here is all graffitied up. That's pretty. Look at that old trading post. Yeah, we're near the Hopi and Navajo Nation right now. I'm not exactly sure if we're in it or not, but we're at least right next to it. I wish I was a Hopi Indian. You may be. We need to get the test run. A bunch of these like roadside places you can buy stuff. Oh, we're coming up on a really cool looking bridge. Is that a walking bridge? It's like it's shut down and it's, it's fenced off. It must be the old bridge. You know what that is? I think it's on it for shop. It's beautiful. It's weird how they're so pointy and short like that. So weird looking. No wonder they feel the westerns out here. It's so pretty. We're gonna pull over here and see if we can get a cool drone shot of how neat this area is.
going to drive so fast. You're in for it. So if you've never traveled out west, they have all these right here, which keep animals from crossing, supposedly, allegedly, maybe. The sand out here is really strange. You step on it, it's like powder, and you sink into it. I think this is still called the Painted Desert Marine right here. And I just had to reschedule because Team Kenny pulled because we are actually out of town right now. Cattle crossing makes 15 miles. We got the old highway bridge over there, and this is where the old highway was to our right. Another old bridge there from the old road. So I believe formations like this, like what you see in Monument Valley, are called buttes. It looks like trails that people have been going up these. Hey, well, go slow when you're four -wheeling. That's what I heard. Hey. All these have just been empty. Tosh was talking about this side is completely different than this side. It is totally different side to side, though. I've never in my life been past by so many people. I'm going 70 in a 65. I mean, they're rolling on. They ain't even afraid of nothing out here. And most of them ain't no police nowhere near. That's a really pretty one coming up. We'll try to put the drone up again real quick. Starting them won't be done. Why are you doing this to me? I'm out here minding my own business. Sounds like a hive of bees. I don't appreciate that. <laughs> Lord, you're spinning the whole way out of here. <laughs> what that little build was used for? It just keeps going and going. Beautiful scenery here. Well, the cattle hang out around that trailer. whole group of abandoned houses here. Well, Pickles got hot in the back and decides she wants to up here, so she's up here with the cool kids now. It looks like we're driving directly into the mountain. Yeah. Wow. Is that a tunnel? Like car turns over? A quarter mile ahead, it says, get her up on two. <laughs> the Grand Canyon's off to our left. Oh. Don't be looking, Mom. You've seen it. It's a really steep incline here. We gained a ton of elevation, aren't we? Well, it looks like there's nothing that way. Hey, he's even up no guardrails half the time. Come on. We're gonna pull off here at the scenic overlook because it looks beautiful. Oh, it's set up with stuff selling here. Oh, we about to buy something. Wow. What a view out here. I don't think I've ever seen a scenic overlook with stuff for sale. But it's like a canyon down there. And back that way is where we came from not a public restroom please do not urinate around it that's uh the first oh she got tourist mode engaged indian jewelry and stuff well miracles happen folks she didn't buy anything i couldn't believe it it's beautiful here though very neat stuff they're selling too i don't even know what town we're in i would tell you i don't know where we're at one wrong turn you off the mountain that, you ain't lying girl good thing i ain't turning wrong well, we're going through it Oh, she died. Look at this. We're going right through the middle of it. Wow. They cut it right through the mountain. Look how tall that is. That's awesome. And we're back to nothing that looks like what we just drove through. It's like, it's like that. Are you singing the theme song to Last of the Yes, totally. We should just have that playing on a loop in the car. We're here, we're in Page, Arizona, at the Horseshoe Bend Overlook. Well, it looks like we're a little late to the game, huh? Yeah, I don't know where all these people came from. Well, they passed you, remember? That's oh, where they came from. Definitely. Everybody rented their RV from the same place except this guy. That's the body style we broke down in last year. <laughs> so we got like a half mile trail here to the edge of the rim to see Horseshoe Bend. 
It's a trail out here, that's for sure. Don't you think they could have moved this parking lot closer? Wawa must be excited about this. She's out front on this hike. I see where you can look over way down there. But you can see the land that the water goes around in front of us there. Snakes around through there. I mean, bends around through there. We had to take a squeezy break. We're almost there now. I bet it's gonna be awesome. Look at that. It's crazy, isn't it? My eyes hurt. Oh, it is a drop off right here. Wow. My feet are tingling. It's more of a sheer drop than the Grand Canyon was. Yeah. Isn't that funny how that river went around and all that? Yeah. Wow. That's incredible. I don't know about these people over here on these edges. Ralphie keeps telling me that most people die from taking selfies. I totally believe it after watching all these people. That's about as close as we need to get, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Some people must not be nearly as scared to get to the edge as we are. I think we got no sense. Is that house on there? Wow. Yeah. That's not a house. It's a little building right there. You sure? I thought it was a box. I thought it was Wait, a little... Wait, there's a lizard right there. You see him? He's lizard going up spotted. and down. Why is he going up and down? <laughs> I don't know. Wait, get How many home. phones are down there, you think? Oh, hundreds. Look at that girl over there. That's crazy. I guess they got like tour boats you can take down there. Look down there, a bunch of stuff has fell off here. I don't really see any petroglyphs or anything here that I can spot. It kind of be hard to get down in there. Yeah. Well, that was definitely worth the stop right there, wasn't it? Yeah. So cool. So cool. Beautiful. I've never seen a river do that before. It's a pretty cool place to stop. Tourists spotted. <laughs> Squeezy break. Golly, look at the group of people that are coming in now. <laughs> Got some high fives. All right, let's go to Utah. It was pretty toasty out there. That was toasty. Look at Ralphie, he is drip sweating back here. Very cool. Now we're gonna head towards Zion National Park, which appears to be absolutely beautiful. She's been a good girl. So we're all famous. We don't have any more food we bought at the store. We've ate it all. So we're going to try Jack in the Box since we haven't ate there. It's my favorite part. <laughs> the food? Yes. Bacon Ultimate Cheeseburger. Lord. We're going to try something new here, though. Tiny tacos. And it goes with this that you dip it in this. I didn't know this existed. So this is something new the car's been doing. It's been starting up and dying. Okay, that's two in a row. Give her the rev revs. I think it has low fuel pressure because it takes a while for, on a cold start for it to start. I concur. We're back to a roundabout. We're gonna try to go to the Walmart and see if they have an atlas and get some food for future meals. They don't cost much. I gotta coach her through the whole thing on this. Now follow where that white car is going. Your daddy would be so proud of you right now, honey. Yeah, right. That's all he does is go to Walmart on vacation. We finally found it. We had like three people tell us they don't sell them here but I found it. Oh look, they got a ring one. Yeah. Oh. We're getting it, $24 well spent. I can't lose it this time, Ralphie. <laughs> we bought a bag of ice. It's probably gonna turn into a bag of water in five seconds if I don't get it in here. Here's this same RV again. I hope they have better luck than we did last year in ours. Oh Lord. No, no, that way, that way. Oh man, this is like large print for us old folks. I love this. So we're right here and we are headed this way. And the green dots tell you that it's a pretty drive. I think we're going over that cool bridge right there. And our car is telling us that we're out of coolant. Man, look at this bridge, it's beautiful. Oh, wow. we're about to go on yeah, we're about to go on that. This is probably the tallest bridge we've been on this trip. There's a dam down there. Are you panicking, Squeeze? You got no leg for We're only like 500 feet off the water. It's fine. And that is Lake Powell over there we're driving towards. We got some buttes over there, don't we? Yeah. It's a very pretty lake. And it looks like it. I don't know what we would do here, but... <laughs> we ain't got no boat, do we? No, we don't. We're going up above the lake a bunch here. 35? Gosh, they don't know you. Once again, just a beautiful view as you go over the hill here. It's beautiful. Moody full? Yeah. I know it was you. 
Isn't that like different than what we've even seen before now? You talk. I'm gonna get a picture of the car in front of Oh, she's ready to go. <laughs> we nailed it. Awesome. And people been putting stickers all over this one. Man, look how beautiful it is, guys. Woo! It's been a few days since we crossed I the state line. So we spent a lot of time in Arizona, but it was good times. Good times. Woo! Woo! Little bushes over there, I think that go on the Western movies are like, new, new, new. Are you talking about tumbleweeds that yeah. roll across the road? Yes, yeah, this stuff looks different again. Look at all the holes it's in it. Like, tell me the water wasn't up in that. I don't know how this changes so quickly like this. It just has holes all in it. I'd be worried there's a snake snake in there. Oh, I guarantee that snake snake's in there. So weird how it comes up out of nowhere. So straight up now. Incredible. Some might call it impeccable. Where the deer and the antelope She's getting sleepy, fellas. We're trying to pull off here. Looks pretty. Can't even see that joker. <laughs> you stand on me? <laughs> Why would you stand on me? Because you're not going to put it on your own head. Why do you do this to me every time? George! It's after you, not <laughs> I'm me. not getting out of the car again. I'm done with it. I'm not done. Are you stuck? I think I've seen a snake. There's snakes. I see a snake. Is that your foot? Don't make me hit it. You better stop. It's your last warning. I'm not getting out of the car with you again. You can drive now. <laughs> oh, we're gonna make some good time now. Oh yeah, 10 below the speed limit. You always wanna pull out in front of somebody then go slow. We're coming into the town of Kanab, Utah. Very pretty out right here set by the mountains. Check out these cabins you can stay in here. That's pretty cool. Found the gas station. I mean, I didn't even get it in park yet. And here he goes. It's so weird, like every state we go to, the octane's different. We have 87, 89, and 93 where I live. Ralphie, we got 19 miles of the gallon on that tank. That's incredible, isn't it? Yes. We got signs for Zion and Bryce Canyon. That's where we're headed. We hiking, I wanna hike. Maybe. That's a pretty house there, whatever it is. It's really cool. It's the something large. What's the Lone Ranger doing here? Another cool little truck there. It's a neat little town. Look, Little Hollywood over here. Oh, that's cool. It's getting more green, isn't it? There's Get out of people up there hiking, see? What? Get out of there! It ain't gonna be us, y'all better know. What is it? Oh, he done with the Yui on us. It looked pretty cool. I don't know what this is. Oh, there's a cave right there. You go right down that hole. We got dinosaur action here. You see what's in the canyon walls over there? See the writings in the walls? I do not. Right there. Carving in the walls. Now, it may not be old, but there's carvings there. Somebody's been carving there. Look, it's all down the wall. Yeah, that's cool. Sounds like dinosaur footprints in the rock here. We didn't even know this place was here. So Lex Barker is from here, the guy who played Tarzan back in the 50s. These rocks are so neat. Right here. What, what is it? It's like little footprints. Oh, wow. All the way up. People have carved or done something in the rock. Oh, fabulous. Wow, it feels cool in here, doesn't it? Doesn't that feel good? Yeah. yeah. When it's 100 degrees outside, it never gets above 65. So this guy bought this cave in 1951 and wanted to make a museum out of it. And people didn't come to it, I guess, so he made a bar instead. Because they filmed a bunch of westerns here back in the day. And guys like John Wayne and Ronald Reagan, they said there was no place to cool off. So he built a bar here because it stays 65 degrees year round. It's incredible. You walk right inside the door. Yeah. And it goes from 100 to 65 instantly. They all hung out in this bar right here. Years later, he turned it into a museum, finally, which is what he originally wanted to do. Look at all the old westerns they filmed here. 
So all this pottery here is over a thousand years old. Yeah, he found this stuff here. That's incredible. Look at all the arrowheads. Wow. Arrowhead. This would be the place to hang out, wouldn't it? Yeah. With this temperature. Oh yeah, it'd be cool to live here, huh? Oh yeah. Oh wow, I've never seen any that big. That like for spears yeah, or something? I've killed them. I've never seen one that big. How would you find that without it being broken? Oh, we got dinosaur tracks they found here. Oh look, Kimberly's waiting. Yeah. She's so excited about it. She took off. Oh, it glows. Look at that. It's huge. Whoa. Yeah, all the sandstone around here has carvings from forever ago in it. Oh, look. That's cool. Well, I'd love to live here. Like, this is my dream home. It's really cool, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at these stones. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen a rock collection in the dark. Neat place, isn't it? I can't believe it's a natural cave. It's so open. They figured out a way to sell poop. Fossilized dinosaur poop. I'm gonna start saving mine. I don't know what happened to that old rifle, but it's been through it. So is this one right here. Why does it have wood strap? Was that a bayonet? So all the canyon walls here have graffiti in them. He said this used to be a local hangout before the 1950s when this guy bought it. So a lot of old graffiti here. Oh, it's big. Oh, look at this cave here. We're gonna go in it. Ain't no way. What are you worried about? You first, Walt. <laughs> oh, wow. He told me there's some graffiti in here from the 1870s. It smells funny. Well, that one says Mexico. Mexico. Here's one right here from March 3rd, 1876. It's funny how graffiti turns into history. We had to take a picture with a dinosaur out here. <laughs> Well, it's funny the stuff you find on the road, isn't it? Yeah, Had no idea it was here. That was epic. This is the name of the place. I can't pronounce it. We're gonna put our stickers on. We got a horseshoe bend sticker while we were in there. Okay. Oh. Is what it is. There we go. Oh. It is what it is. Oh. And we got one from the cave here. The my cave. My Squeeze. We see what you're doing. <laughs> Troublemaker. That's really neat to be at the same hangout that John Wayne and Ronald Reagan hung out at back when they were big actors. Because, I mean, this is where they film the westerns, right here, you know? Yeah, I bet it sticks to my seats, too. Hey, wow! Oh, my. It sticks with its form. Check us out on other platforms at SleeperDude88. It's all green here, though. This is more like what we're used to. Oh! The Thunderbird Restaurant. That's cool looking. We are now at 3,400 miles into our trip, by the way. It's going to end up being over 6,000. You sure. reckon? For sure. We got the other half up and all the way back. So. I'm not tired of driving. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's Buffalo. Oh, there is Buffalo. Oh, I want a pig. Wow. Hey, East Joker's ain't got that much of a fence. First buffalo spotted. Oh, we gotta get out like this. We need to look at that. Wow. Look at all them. Look at that big guy to the left. I know. Here's a bunch of them. That's probably 60 or so at least. I wonder if one of those could push our car over. Uh, guaranteed that. That's really cool. You just don't see them often. That's so cool. I love buffalo. Yeah. Don't this you love fence. them? This fence is going to be yeah, fun. You, you're so up. nervous. You see the little babies fish. laying down? Oh, oh yeah, I do they're see them now. They're, 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 they're a different like color, yeah. Maybe. Selfie. Shut up. Well, that was really cool. I didn't expect that. Maybe. It's a geyser. I think I found is old, old people. people. You know what that is? Oh, Somebody hit a water pipe. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I could. Not a national park. Oh. Oh. Why does it stop? Oh, okay. Oh. 
I can't see the end of the line. That's not a good sign. All right, we're about 15 minutes in now. We can actually see the guard shack. All right, we're in. Got her paid for. It's supposed to be a really pretty drive. A bunch of like switchback turns and a really cool tunnel to the middle of the mountain. That is so weird looking. What are those lines? I don't know. They're so symmetrical too, it's weird. And that is incredible, isn't it guys? Yeah, it's crazy. And once again, this is different than the other mountains. Yeah, it's, it's like, different again. We've seen a whole lot of mountains, but none of them have barely been the same. Look at this. Imagine what people thought it came through the first time, you know. We're coming to a tunnel here. Oh wow. Look at that. Look at the rings where they cut it out. That is so cool. Man, I don't know exactly when that tunnel was carved out, but I'm sure it was a long time ago. The terrain here is just incredible. This rocks are straight up out of here. We'll be careful. We decided to jump out because there's no parking and we're going to go on this hiking trail to the scenic overlook and meet mom back up here in a minute. It's like a mile or so. So we got to go up through there. So RVs like this, they have to shut the whole tunnel down for an RV to go through. It's so small. So this is supposed to give you a view of the whole canyon. Although we got a good view of mom right now. <laughs> we got our hiking boots on all of us. I'll do the tunnel. Whoa. There's a shot of the tunnel that they're going through. They're gonna go down there and turn around because you can't U-turn it here. Oh, I bet at one point this didn't have no railing. Or steps. Yeah, no railing. Yeah, this is sketch. A little sketch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Water on the trail. Don't worry. It's not like you fall or anything. Yeah. They say there's chipmunks up here. We'll see. Wow. It's a heck of a trail. Just stay to the right. You'll be fine. Well, I think you could catch yourself. Hey, really? Thank the Lord. <laughs> That's a pretty view from here. Forward and there's a mountain. Yes. <laughs> Are you nervous? I'm not that. Yeah, I, I see a lot. Beautiful. All kinds of lizards here. More creeks and sheer bluffs. Oh, there's the trail we gotta go to over there, I guess. Wait, does it go around? <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. It's a nice shady spot in here. Feels really nice. Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh, we got a bridge out over the edge of the cliff. We got to walk on now. It's probably put here in the 30s. Nothing to worry about. It's creaking. Oh. Go, go, go. It is a creaking, isn't it? Oh my gosh. That's sketchy. A nice little cave here. Okay, another creek and a drop off. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. That is like nothing but a water slide the whole way down. They have one trail here. I can't remember the name of it, but it's like one of the most dangerous trails in the whole national park system. It goes right on the peak of one of these mountains. And it's just like a rope you have to hold on to. No railing. No, thank you, right? I think we're almost there. You think mom's biting her nails waiting on us to get back? Yeah. Or she's biting her nails trying to get through that traffic. <laughs> I think we're here. Oh, wow. That's the road that we're about to be driving on, I think. Look at that. See all the curves in it? Yeah. Wow. What a view, huh? Yeah. Is that mom down there parked? <laughs> And the pull off. Wait, is it? <laughs> it may be mom down there, I'm not sure. This is probably the most incredible overlook we've been at. 
I don't see any chipmunks up here though. We thought there'd be chipmunks. We heard there were chipmunks here. So this stuff's about 7,000 feet tall. Man, it's beautiful. So we're gonna go drive on that now. Let's go find your mama. That was an incredible view. Definitely worth the hike. Hopefully mom found a parking spot. We got little baby cactuses in here. Cacti. These little creeks are kind of freaky. Cause that's not where you want to go. I think this is about the sketchiest part right here. Yeah, it looks, well, doesn't look too uh, solid. Man, I'd feel so much better if we had a scooter here to protect us. Yeah. He'd probably run back to mom and signal her and like bark in a certain pattern. Well, She'd be like, what's that scooter? Daddy fell off the cliff. <laughs> then he would bring her back here to rescue me. Yeah, exactly. He'd do whatever it took. You would survive. You'd, no, you wouldn't. You'd roll down and then you'd be on the... Oh. No, you wouldn't be able to catch anything. It's just rocks. Is mom in the parking lot? <laughs> She's not even figured out it's us yet. Hi. Oi. Wagon's looking good. I feel better now. I worry about her when we're out like this because I know she gets nervous. She would have really been nervous on this hike. Where'd you do a U-turn at? Down the hill. You probably did it in the tunnel if I knew you. Like Austin Powers. <laughs> Hey, we gotta cross the road, okay? So just close your eyes and run. <laughs> we have the right of way. Don't worry about the traffic. We didn't have to close our eyes. Can I offer you some dinner? Oh, look at that, waiting on me. We were so worried about your health while we were going. Hey, my blood pressure is that my head's starting to hurt. I tried to call you and I had no cell service I, I don't up know there. Cell service either. We tried to make it quick. I was praying that y'all would stay hey. on the rocks. Beautiful view. No chipmunks though. We saw what? a chipmunk like well, we climb up the, rock, climb up the rock, but we've had chipmunks. Oh, there's chipmunks down here? Oh, well, we could have just stayed down here and seen chipmunks. That view though is incredible up there. Damn. What a cool tunnel. Y'all can't hold your breath. It's a mile long. Oh, wow. You do have to have your headlights on. I got the ride beams on. Oh, look at the windows. Look, it goes out the mountain. Yeah. You keep your eyes on the prize. Oh, I got my eyes on the, the prize. It's almost like they built those for walking traffic because it's like a area to stand there, you know? Oh, oh just when you think it's over. Oh, look at that, guys. That beautiful view. It looks like it used to be a pull off spot. You like this tunnel space? Yes. Yes, I do. It's really good for you. See, this is what we saw from our hike. We saw all the road down here. Yeah, I walked in right over there. Oh, God. Right in the middle of this curve on both sides. Above that, like, arch. arch, we were on top of all that. This is definitely worth going to. It's beautiful. Oh, look, there's the mountain that we just went through. There's the tunnel you can see. Yeah. You see the hole right there? Yeah. Where you went through? Yeah, this got to be one of the coolest roads in the country right here. There's the road with me, so we all down there. Look how beautiful that mountain is there. Awesome. May not look like it with the scenery, but we just came out of Zion National Park. We're trying to go to Grafton Ghost Town. It was actually the spot where they filmed a couple old Western movies. Looks like a pretty cool ghost town. I love my ghost towns. It'd be hard to find a place prettier than this, wouldn't it? Yes. It's like a one lane metal bridge. How cool. Yeah. Wow. What do you think, Squeezel? It's cool. Well, there's no signs for this or anything. We're out here. It's like three miles down through here in the middle of nowhere. Well, it's turned into a gravel road now. Oh, wow. Bumpy. Lord, can she pull this hill? Was these 5.7 liters of power? I think this is gonna be our first legit abandoned ghost town. Oh look, I see some buildings over here. Yeah, look at that. So that's a log barn looks like. Look at this house. Love it. I mean this road is rough. Oh, the doors Wow, look at that. It has a cool fence and everything. So this was settled in the 1850s by the Mormon church. It was a settlement made for raising cotton. And it was abandoned in the 1920s. So it's been here over a hundred years with nobody living in it. This is a rutted up drive right here. We got her in four low right now. What?
Cause there ain't nobody living out here. Wow. Well, it's cool they let you come in here though. Yeah. Wow, what a pretty building. Five families settled one mile downstream from here. They planted crops, made irrigation ditches. Three years later in 1862, flooding destroyed that town and pioneers began to move to here. So this is a schoolhouse right here, built in 1886. And then that over there is the Russell home, built in 1862. Wow. And the Grafton Cemetery is near here. So that house has been here since the Civil War. That's incredible. It's funny to see a church with no windows in the front. Look, look at that. Look at the backdrop. Incredible. Can you imagine living here in the 1800s? That's incredible to see an original structure like this. Watch out for night nights. Exactly. Man, what a cool ghost town, huh? Well, it looks like they have rods and bolts holding this thing together still. See the bolts and stuff holding it together? You can see where the wall's bowed out. Oh, you can go in? Oh, cool. Wow. This is really neat. Oh, this is the family that lived here. What a pretty house. I love these old floors. You can see they've done some work to try to fix it up where it's probably falling in. There's a square nail. Oh yeah, the square head nails. These are old, right? Wow, you can go upstairs. Yeah, that's how it works. It's really hot. It's amazing. Wow, this is so cool. All rough cut lumber. This is so cool. I didn't expect to be able to go in them. I love the old log cabins. Look how big these logs are. You can see where they cut them with an ax. Hand hewn. This ceiling is so low. Maybe six and a half feet. Look, you gotta duck the doorway. Yeah, the door's not even tall enough for me to go through. This is a really neat place. Beautiful country here. Can you imagine growing up here with no air conditioning, wood heat, had to grow everything you lived off of? You get used to it eventually, I guess. So you can just look in the church from these stairs. Pretty and the floors still yeah. look good. <laughs> That's the cabin across the street here and the neighbors. It looks like somebody did a good job of keeping them preserved, you know? Looks like they're in really good shape. Yeah. Another one down there. Mm -hmm. That one's brick down there, isn't it? Yeah. Amazing view right there with the yeah, mountain in the background. Awesome backdrop. Cool. Beautiful. Good stop. He's a fat and look at him go. You know it's gonna be good when you get on a road like this, or worse. And that is a beautiful one there too. So this is the Grafton Cemetery from 1862 to 1924. Look how many people died here in 1866 from diphtheria, accidents, and killed by Indians in Scarlet Fever. Look at the old wood headstones up there. Usually don't see them surviving. I do not know that I've seen real wood ones that old. I've seen ones that have been reproduced like the ones in Tombstone. That looks to be original. Wow. That's John James and Asa York. They all died in 1866. That's probably somebody's three kids there, unfortunately. 1871. These are really old tombstones here. Oh, there's some more wooden ones. Man, that's so cool to see original ones. The Hunt family. Well, that was definitely worth a stop. I really enjoyed that. That's one of the coolest cemeteries I've ever seen, having original wooden headstones like that. We got a room booked in Cedar City. Yep. Should have a steamroller pancake maker. That'd be cool. We got the pry bar. Let's get on the road. So I forgot to mention it while we were there, but the very first talking movie that had sound that was filmed outside was filmed in Grafton. And also, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, made in 1969, was filmed there. So, a lot of history there of old Western. I think those are like yurts. 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 Something like that. You can say it. It's super expensive, though. I think I've heard you say that word before. Yurt? Yeah, you're like, I ain't mine. Is that yurt? Yes. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> okay, corral. What is that? It's a gift shop. 
So you see the mountain behind you? See the antennas and stuff on it? There's a 12,000 foot long rocket sled test site up there. Like on Indiana Jones, when he gets on the rocket sled, that's the site where they did it right there. Supersonic testing over 950 miles per hour up there. And then over on this side is like an old corral from the 1930s where they used to corral wild horses and stuff out here. Beautiful view though, huh? We got a Corvette, son. Should be at our motel in like 30 minutes. We're headed towards Cedar City. And we got a beautiful sunset on the mountains here. Well, there you go, we've rolled over 3,500 miles. Mom's been booking again. Look at this Swankosaurus place. <laughs> it's really not that bad, is it? It's no, like, it's really not. Did you say it's cheaper than anywhere else we stayed? Yeah. Look how dusty we are from the old dusty trail today. We hiked it, didn't we? Yeah. Let's get checked in. I'm ready for bed. Ralphie the pack mule. Oh, it feels nice in here. Nicely done, Mom. Well, we got to see some really awesome stuff today we've never seen before. Really enjoyed it. That cave was super cool that we went yeah, to. Unexpected. I, it was like just out of the blue. Thanks for following along with us today. Tomorrow we're going to try to go to Bryce Canyon and then head as quickly as we can up towards Jackson, Wyoming and into Grand Tetons and then into Yellowstone. We made it about 360 miles today. So. That's surprising with the many stops as we did. We'll see you guys in the morning. Ralphie's going to spend another night in the floor. And we'll wake up and have some steamrolled pancakes. Good morning. For some reason, this elevator has a door. Never seen that before. Anybody else ever seen that? Not until here. <laughs> Are y'all sleepy or something? I'm sleeping. This is never before seen. Not one, but two. Ralphie likes the omelets they have here. <laughs> a little creepy. <laughs> what do you think about this squeeze? Amazing. If only it was this easy to get tossed to cook. Every day, packing it out, packing it in. Oh, she's starting off hot this morning. She got the hot tune up. So we figured out that we left a solar battery pack charger at the Grand Canyon Hotel. So three different times we've left things in the hotel so far. My wallet, the Atlas, and the solar battery pack deal. So we're doing real good. Hopefully we didn't leave anything in that last room. I know we got the pry bar, so we're good there. It's about 80 miles from here to Bryce Canyon. Got some cool back roads to take. She's doing her facial work this morning. Pink hair, it's important. Beautiful morning out here. Lord, is a drop off over here. Yes, it is, isn't it? I mean, straight down. They cut this out to make this road. I absolutely love these white trees. I think they might be a birch or something. That's very cool, isn't it? That's, we don't see them. Home. Those cliffs up there. We're coming up on some super slow traffic here. We got like an excavator or something. Oh, the view though. No guardrail. You don't need one. You got a steering wheel. Going 25 up this place. I believe that's a feller buncher on the trailer. Honey, if you drive over there no, closer, please. we can see. You don't want to get over see closer and see? see from here, that's it. Man, we're at 9,910 feet. That is a feller buncher we're passing. Just the fact you even knew what that piece a of feller buncher was. was. Everybody knows what that is. No, we don't. These trees look different already. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> we haven't seen these trees yet. It's weird. You can drive 30 minutes and see something totally different. I still have not seen an elk in the wild. I need to see an elk in the wild. Bow, 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 bow. It'd be good if I knew the words to any song I sing. <laughs> Pulled off of this scenic overlook, there's a big lake down here. We got cans falling out of the car and everything. It's such a train wreck. It's cold. It's yeah, it's cold. Lake. This is the first morning we hadn't had to take off with AC bomb max. So this is Navajo Lake and it said it was a product of volcanic activity in the area. It is so cold. It's like You're a baby. Oh. <laughs> Good news is the log truck passed us, so we're back behind him. You see all the volcanic rock down there? That's 
basalt. That is why this lake is here, is that stopping the water from flowing out. Wow, look at it, guys. So we're on the volcano? Yeah, we're in a volcano right now. Look at the huge pile of that rock. Whoa. Look at it. Wow. wow. We should have got a volcano. That's crazy. Wow. I mean, it goes on for miles and miles out here. It's all in this woods. You are getting past like, cr look, he's off in the ditch passing you. These people. So we're at Dixie National Forest to our left here, I guess. Wow, some old cabins there. It's really opening up through here, isn't it? There's still tons of this volcanic rock here. It's a severe river. It just winds all down that road we were just on. There's all kinds of little cabins here you can stay in. It's already looking really cool. We just turned on the road. Wow, this is incredible. Are you kidding me? Getting passed on the double yellow and a curve. Look, some of those are just barely sitting on top of each other. Look at that. Looks like they would just fall off. We got a visitor center, we're gonna hit it wide open. Look at those rocks just sitting up there. Looks like it would just fall over any moment. Ooh. Oh wow, Red Canyon Tunnel. They love our car. <laughs> wow, that's the tunnel that we just saw in the picture of that old car. So it says these tunnels in this park were opened in 1925. In 1925, there was a 315 car caravan came through here to celebrate the opening of the park. What a sight to see, huh? That would have been neat. It's always neat to me to be the same place where something like that happened. So this tunnel is 102 years old. Oh, awesome. Man, they're ripping it on them bikes, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Yeah. It's completely flat now. <laughs> <laughs> we drove over the hill and now it's completely flat and green. Look, they're going too. What happened yeah, to pedaling your bike, huh? I had to pedal mine. I didn't have no electric bike. I pedal both ways. Exactly. We need that van, don't we? I want to that van. We got horses over here. Them, uh, There's a ton of horses over here. Looks like they're having a rodeo or something. These is bulls, beans. Rodeo, 7 p.m. Wednesday and Saturday. Look Not today. Uh, TP action. You stay in them? What's the deal? Yeah, yeah, really. Really? Here's a sign we're in Bross Canyon. All right, we got it bought and paid for. We're gonna go in the business center real quick. What's oh, a big one? Here's a model of the canyon. A theater. This is the biggest theater I've ever seen inside of a national park. This place is huge. That is the biggest visitor center I think I've ever been in. I wonder what the one at Yellowstone's like. Have you seen a prairie dog crossing a uh, magnet like this right Oh here? my gosh, you have a prairie dog magnet? Our sticker installed. We didn't get one for Zion, unfortunately. You have to try them. It was getting late in the day and we didn't stop the visitor center, not thinking. We're gonna get this window covered up. Look how they piled up all this sticks and brush and stuff. I guess they keep from having fires, I don't know. We're gonna drive out here to Sunset Point and this overlooks what they call the amphitheater. Oh, wow. Look, look up there. Morning. We drove the whole loop and haven't found a parking spot. That's not good. We're gonna try to fit Judy in this little spot right here. It's the only spot on the whole parking lot with tight fit. Dangerous cliff. Watch your children. Keep an eye on them, honey, okay? Uh, I miss my stroller. Can someone carry me? You miss your stroller? Yes. Hey, we had her in a stroller till she was like 10. Last year or something? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> he's so cute! Oh wow, that looks crazy. What? That's weird. Isn't that crazy looking? 
Look at this. A different world, isn't it? We haven't seen anything like this. Where else does stuff like this exist? And we've seen all this stuff and we haven't seen anything that looks like this. Wow. That's so beautiful. Look, there's a point way up there, look. Oh, wow. There's people up there on the very top. And they're just so deep. I don't know why they're like that. I mean, there's just hundreds of feet and these little cracks in between them. We found a thing we can walk out on here. That's still really pretty a bit. Oh. <laughs> here we are. Oh. Wow. Whoa. Mommy, go down there? Sure. You're right. That is like zigzag all the way down. It looks like those would just fall over down there. Wow. It's like a different world, isn't it? Oh, look at the trail down there. Well, me and the two oldest ones are going to go down the trail here. Look at the little rock sitting on top of that. There. Isn't that crazy? How does it stay up there? There's no edge here. But it's also sandy, so that's good. Man, this scenery. What's prettier, Zion or Bryce Canyon? Or the Grand Canyon? I'm thinking this might be the prettiest one we've seen. Yeah. Personally. Oh, I can't, I can't pick. They're all really beautiful. They're all beautiful, aren't they? They are. Ooh. Ooh. I wouldn't be on a donkey here either. I would. I You're would. just a daredevil. Look, it's not you. I mean, a donkey could roll over you and crush you, but. Mom and Squeeze are definitely in the shade up there somewhere, aren't they? People have been walking out to that. No, thank you. This right here just cracks me up. What's that guy doing? That's crazy. It's even staying there. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at that. What a cool trail. This is incredible. Yes, it is, isn't it? We're passing a lot of people breathing heavy. It's funny those trees are down here. Good thing we got our hiking boots on. We're going to find out today, once and for all, what's better, Crocs or flops? Well, I did have flops on when I traded with Mom, so. Why would you trade down like that? You always want to trade up. Is it cold? It's cold. Like back here, it's freezing. Oh yeah, that's really cool. Shoot, you could live down here. It's really nice, actually. Way better than up top. And look, there's a hole right there where I guess water came through. We're in it now, we're in the crevasse. Why does that tree got the spiral? That thing's threaded. Man, look how it turns into trees all down here. Oops. Oh my word, this trail is gonna kill me. All I heard was y'all want to go hiking, want to go hiking. No, I know, I know, but I didn't think it was going to be this long. It's only like a mile and a half up and down a mountain. I'm not wearing tennis shoes. So that marker says that these are called hoodoos, and they're formed from water erosion and snow and ice cracking the rock, and they make these things called hoodoos. Everybody's got their hiking poles and hiking boots, except for us. <laughs> He's right there. What's he doing? He's coming over here to check us out, ain't he? He ran into my spot. <laughs> yeah, very close to us. Can't pet them. All right, Kill, come on, champ. We gotta go. The elevation's getting to us, I think. It's really high elevation here. Oh. Hey! Hi. He was cute. This is one thing that I will probably never <laughs> say about my mom. I thought you wanted to hike. I like you... the scenery. It's just the part of walking. <laughs> it's not that bad. I was guessing. Did he touch your toe? Yes. Wow, they're straight up above us here. Oh, it feels cool in here. Whoa. Oh, wow. Hey, it could collapse at any moment. Wow, what a cool trail.
Oh wow, cool tunnel. We made it up. He's a little dude, isn't he? Baby. Oh, he's so little. Like he just walks right across it. Yeah, this just keeps going and going and going and going. Forever I'm in. <laughs> Never did, Dad. Come on, I'm older than you. I'm carrying a backpack. You're barely carrying any weight. Come on. Well, I ain't got as much muscle. <laughs> We're almost there. Mom's up there. Girl, look at my Crocs. You done put them through the ringer. Why did we do that? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go hiking. That was fun. It's, look at your grinch face. Oh, a... You've got dirt to your knees. Well, what'd you think about Bryce Canyon, guys? Amazing. Y'all had the easy end of the deal. We did. We did it right. No, never again. I will not hike. She don't want to hike no more. It was awful. You don't understand. It was awful. I do understand. I tried to tell you. Hey, she's been hiking with me for 20 years. I tell you. This is the trail we hiked right here. Look at the length of some of these trails. Oh, Lord. It was overnighters. Look at that. All the way around there. We only did that. You can do that whole thing. No, I would die. Wow. They packed her in, didn't they? What? Oh, boy. Well, we are headed out of Bryce Canyon. We're probably going to get us something to eat because it's like lunchtime. I loved it. it I think beautiful. that may be the most beautiful scenery we've seen. We're going to our first Sinclair gas station. I don't see a dinosaur in sight, though. Where's the dinosaur? I thought they always had the dinosaur. Can I steal my Josh? Hey, you straightened your up last time. Yeah. You did they got an assembly line going here. I guess they're cleaning every window. There's 11 windows on this car. <laughs> this thing is gonna look so rough by the end of this trip. So if you're wondering about renting a ATV, we were too. It's $185 for one hour and you, and you had to follow them around. So a little rich for our taste. Looks like this is about the only option, so we're gonna try it out. Sometimes it's cool to try out new places. Sometimes it's disastrous. It's pretty good. It wasn't bad either, was it? No. It was like uh, 40 bucks for all of us to eat here. Not bad at all. This is our date here. We didn't allow the children to stay over here because we're on a date. <laughs> we got used to being alone while they were at school all year. We would go to town like once a week and go out to eat and stuff. So we got used to being by ourselves like retired folk. <laughs> it's our date. <laughs> well, look, they even do wagon rides. Oh my gosh, it's real. I thought that was funny. No, it's real. This is real deal Holyfield. We're in Utah. <laughs> Don't touch the roof. <laughs> well, since I have a servant's heart, I'm going to drive at least to the interstate and let mom drive after that. All the way to Wyoming. So this part of the country is in an area called the Outlaw Trail, which was a trail that a lot of outlaws took. They had hideouts and such around here, guys like Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. So all this area right through here was well-traveled guys going between Colorado and down to Arizona would come right through this area. This is a cool little town too. I just love the old Western storefront buildings like this. Well, there's a picture show theater, the gym. Oh, oh man, it'd be cool to see it there, wouldn't it? Well, now you have a dinosaur where well, we don't need gas now. I don't like it. We've made it back to the interstate here. We're going to get on 15 North and head towards Salt Lake City. She was supposed to be driving. Pond or something? When There's gotta be like a hundred cars down in there. Oh, this guy's got all kinds of old cars out here. For sale! Hey, right, look at that Thunderbird convertible. Look at that. It's for sale too. I like that. Crew cab. Come on. 
And that tractor. Well, we're stopping here at Love's in Fillmore, Utah, because Squirrel Bladder back here has got to go. It's hot, but it's not as hot as it's been. No, it's, it's a lot better. It's bearable it's here. Hard. I'm hoping as we move north towards Yellowstone, it gets cooler and cooler. Squeeze can't find her shoes. Imagine that. I'll tell you what's incredible. I just checked the oil again. 3,700 miles, and we haven't used any oil yet. That's crazy. I'm, I mean, I know she's a good girl now, but I'm surprised she hadn't dropped a drip. Squeeze was going to take a turn in the back seat. Can't really have them side by side if they, they don't do well together. Well, mom's back behind the wheel again. We think we're going to stop in the corner of Wyoming for tonight because if we drive all the way to Jackson, it's going to be like super late at night. We'll probably make it to the corner of Wyoming, hopefully, and say the night. It's just a beautiful mountain out there. I'm glad we're not going down that side of the interstate. No kidding. We've had good luck so far with the traffic. And look how much snow is on the mountains over there. So we're coming into Provo and Salt Lake City. Woo! Apparently everybody in Utah lives here. We ain't seen nearly this many houses. This is the most city we've seen in a while. Mm -hmm. and this is just Provo, not even Salt Lake City. Nice Supra. Love Supra. That's pretty. There's some really pretty buildings here. It's a library. There's water coming down the mountain there. Wow. Wow. That is the first waterfall we've seen. There's actually a little one right there and another little one right here. Look at that. Wow. Probably. This fella's fly fishing down here. Oh, we got tunnel action here. Well, hold your breath. You better hold it's your breath. Easy. Incredible, you made it. That's so easy. Wow. Yeah. Big lake over here to the left. Deer Creek State Park. Yeah, if you like lake stuff, this looks like a really nice spot. Beautiful lake. <laughs> Swiss Alps Inn. Look, it's like a Swiss clock there. It's like a cuckoo clock. Look at these buildings. It's a funny built town. This is Heber City. Really interesting looking building, so. Look at this camper behind this Chrysler Sebring. Convertible, of course. That is an enormous camper behind that little car. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're gonna stop and get gas. We're not completely out, but we better top it off. We don't know how much farther it is for another town. I like the old Holiday Lanes bowling alley, that's cool. It's it. It nicer to glare the windshield. We got 18 and a half miles to the gallon on that stop. We've been getting 18, 19 here and there, but most of the time we've been getting about 16, 17, but we have got like 18, 19. I think we hit 20 once, didn't we? I think so. Uh, we can't remember anymore, too many miles. Looks like that's a man-made dam there holding all this water back. I don't know if I want to live right there. <laughs> Big lake over here again. Definitely some of the prettiest lakes I've ever been around. Was that a bomb shelter? What we got here? It's the second big slowdown on the side of the interstate. Man, I do not know where the end of this line is. Now this is the first time we've seen these on this trip. We learned what these were last year in South Dakota. This is a snow fence to keep some of the snow from getting on the road. Get her done, son. That's a funny looking mountain. We haven't seen one rounded off like that, have we? Look at all the little holes and slots that has. There is a huge bunch of cars in these people's yards to our left. There's got to be a three, two or three hundred cars probably there. Wow. I can't really tell what they are from here. Look at that little building out there. It's leaning about to fall over. We 
We're in Wyoming now. Woo! We're only like five minutes from our room because we booked a room right here on the other side of the Wyoming border. This is where we're getting off the night. Evanston or something? Yeah. Yeah. Looks like we got more steamroller pancake makers in our Amen. future. Exactly. <laughs> I think we got that shake and bake out here in the grass. So we have broke 3,900 miles driven now. High five. Woo! Psych. And we made it 415 miles today. Good We're getting real close to Yellowstone. I think the two places I was most excited about was Tombstone and Yellowstone. Buffalo Bill Cody Center for the West. I'm really excited about it too. Well, the babies are hungry. So. Yeah. Can you see in Taco Bell? It's what the perfect could, combo. What more could you ask for? Is this a seagull? There, the sea ain't anywhere near what here, bro. What is this doing? Yeah. It's because it's salt. We're near the Salt Lake City. Oh. Because the salt lake. Oh, it's because it's a salt lake right. with the seagulls it like is, the salt. It is. Yeah. She's right. Google that, guys. Salt water. Listen, salt seagulls are near salt water. They have sweet tea here. We should make like a map of America on places that offer sweet tea and places that don't. I feel like we would be contributing more than Lewis and Clark did if we did that. Yeah. We could probably get 20 bucks for that in Arizona, couldn't we? That sounds like a business opportunity to me. <laughs> Transporting sweet tea over the border. It feels a lot better here, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. It's not hot here at all today. It's like maybe 60 something degrees. It's really nice. I'd love to know how long that compressor actually runs at night. Got a lot of luggage to carry in every night. I feel like we just live in hotels now. We just got used to being gypsies. <laughs> That's so weird, isn't it? Man, we lucked out. Look, we got the snack machine and the ice right here. And no there. Time for me to take a bath. This is not a bath. It, it is a bath. Well, I feel a little better now that I've had a bath. You ain't had no bath. I'm ready for tomorrow. That was not a bath. We're going to head out of here in the morning and head into Jackson, Wyoming. And we got some pictures in the old 1976 photo album from Jackson and Jackson Hole area, the Grand Tetons, going into Yellowstone. So I'm super excited about going to some of the same places that my grandparents went on their trip. So we will see you guys in the morning. We'll get on the road. I'm super excited about Yellowstone. I can't tell you how excited I am. Wanted to go my whole life, never had a chance. But that's gonna be it for this video. You can expect another video in a few days from our trip. We appreciate you guys watching this series and following us along on our trip. We've had a great time, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.